saws, hammers. A high school woodworking project takes shape. But this isn't your grandfather's shop class. These Antioch High School students are part of an educational trend sweeping the nation. Students are getting the experience of learning about career opportunities in a particular region that we live. And also, they're getting the core academic program, the rigor that they need to satisfy college admissions. Tracking programs put young students on a path to college or the workforce. But with these new programs, all students get both hands-on experience and traditional instruction. You guys already did this one? No, we're waiting for the uh -oh. Alfredo Ochoa participates in the district's biotech program. I was told by one of my family members that I, will, I don't have the capability of becoming a scientist, and which currently I am proving them wrong. Jared Stallins has studied the strategy and says it increases graduation rates, improves performance, and leads to higher incomes after graduation. They do have a greater sense of confidence and uh, competence um, in interacting with adults in the workplace. School districts in nine other states are following California's lead. In Antioch Unified School District, professionals offer training in everything from environmental studies to biotechnology to emergency medicine. Okay, let's get her head fastened. Is there any allergies that you're allergic to? I'm not allergic to anything. They could very easily be working side by side with paramedics at this point and, um, and probably have those people say, where, where, where'd you get your schooling? At Miller Children's and Women's Hospital in Long Beach, students are paired with medical specialists they recently capped off the semester with a tour of the hospital with their mentors. Jennifer Martinez Salmon found her own way into pediatric nursing through trial and error. So I didn't even know how to get into college, let alone how to become a nurse. If I had the mentors that are in this program, that would have helped me tremendously. Now she's helping to forge a path for the next generation of caregivers. Gillian Flackis, Associated Press, Long Beach, California.